To say that Jim Thorpe was a great athlete is a huge understatement. Jim Thorpe was the greatest athlete of the 20th century, and some say that he was the greatest athlete of all time. Even royalty has declared him the greatest. That's right. King Gustav V of Sweden told Jim Thorpe, Sir, you are the greatest athlete in the world. That's quite a compliment. So, who was Jim Thorpe? Jim Thorpe was born James Francis Thorpe in a one-room cabin in Oklahoma. He was born on May 28, 1887. Jim was part French and part Irish, but he was mostly of Sac and Fox Indian heritage. He was from the Thunder Clan. Jim was born to Hiram and Charlotte Thorpe. Jim was born a twin, but his brother Charlie died of pneumonia when Jim was nine years old. Jim's Indian name was Watho Hup, which means bright path. The perfect name for Jim. He definitely had a bright future ahead of him. Jim was an amazing athlete because he competed so well in so many sports. Jim began his athletic career in 1907 at Carlisle Indian Industrial, Industrial School in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. At Carlisle, Jim competed in many different sports, track and field, football, baseball, lacrosse, and even ballroom dancing. In 1913, Jim led Carlisle's football team to the National Colli Collegiate Football Championship, scoring 25 touchdowns and 198 points in one season. Jim participated in the Summer Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. He represented the United States, even though he didn't become a United States citizen until 1919. At the Olympic Games, Jim won the gold medal in both the pentathlon and the decathlon. He returned home to America with approximately $50,000 worth of trophies. He was honored with a ticker tape parade on Broadway in New York City. A month after the Olympic Games, the Amateur Athletic Union filed charges against Thorpe. They said that he had played summer baseball with the Rocky Mountain Club for money, which, dis which discredited his amateur status. Jim had played for a small amount of money, so he was stripped of his medals and trophies. From there, Jim played Major League Baseball for six years. Jim played with the New York Giants, the Cincinnati Reds, and later with the Boston Braves. His best season in baseball was his last. He batted .327 in 60 games for the Boston Braves. Jim Thorpe also played professional football and helped the Ant Bulldogs win their world championships in 1960, 1970, and 1990. The Bulldogs were one of the four teams that made up the American Professional Football Association which later became the National Football League. Jim was elected the APFA's first president, but continued to play football and coach for the Canton Bulldogs. He played for professional football for six different teams between 1920 and 1928. When he retired at age 41, Jim had played a total of 52 NFL games. After retiring from professional sports, Thorpe became an alcoholic and struggled to support his his wife and four children. He found it difficult to work outside of sports and couldn't hold a, down, a job down for very long. He worked as a construction worker, a bouncer, and a movie extra, playing an Indian in Western movies. Jim also briefly joined the Merchant Marine in 1945. When people discovered that Thorpe was destitute, organizations across the country raised thousands of dollars to help him. In 1950, Jim Thorpe was voted the greatest athlete of the half century. Jim lived to see great things in his life, including a feature film made by himself, Jim Thorpe All Jim died of a heart attack in 1953 at the age of 65, but his memory and legend were not. He was the only American athlete to excel as an amateur and professional in three major sports, track and field, football, and baseball. Soon after his death, a town renamed itself Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. In 1963, Jim Thorpe was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. A statue of Jim stands in the rotunda at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The description on the statue reads, Jim was named, Jim Thorpe was named first team Walter Camp All-American 1911-1912. He won gold medals in the decathlon and pentathlon in the 1912 Olympics. Played professional baseball in 1920 and was elected the first president of what became the National Football League. He was the first great performer of that league, its highest paid player, both the precursor and the prototype of the weapons of modern football.